Governor Tony Evers wants the parole board to reconsider the early release of a convicted wife killer. Today, the West Allis family, victim's family that is, met face to face with Governor Evers in what 12 News Kent Wainscott reports was a last ditch attempt to block the killer's parole. <laughs> The family of murder victim Joanna Balsavage got what they wanted, a meeting with Governor Tony Evers and a call for the Parole Commission to stop her killer's early release from prison. Governor Evers sent off a letter to John Tate to rescind the decision that he made. Douglas Balsavage is set to be paroled as early as next week after serving less than 25 years of an 80-year sentence for the murder of his estranged wife in West Allis in 1997. In a letter to the commission, Chair Evers said, I must implore you to reconsider. I do not agree with this decision. He also questioned whether the family had enough time to respond to the release. The family told the governor that the Department of Corrections didn't officially notify them of the killer's parole until Thursday, one week after 12 News first reported about it. The letter's dated April 30th. It was postmarked May 10th. Mm -hmm. He agrees there was mistakes made. Do you have full faith in the he doesn't have Evers has taken heat politically over the case and his lack of comment when 12 News asked about it on Thursday. We don't have time for questions. But on Friday, the family was encouraged by Evers' actions. We don't know that this is overturned yet, but I'm feeling better today. The governor told the family that he has no authority to overrule the parole commission's decision, only to urge them to reconsider. The family said they were satisfied with that response and called it one more step toward justice. At State Capitol in Madison, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News. Family members say they were assured Douglas Balsavich would not be released before a review of the case is complete. WISN 12 News reached out to the Department of Correction to try to confirm that, but have not received a reply as of yet. And you can view Governor Evers' entire letter to the Parole Commission in the story on the 12 News app.